Why don't you have the exact amounts right now? Well, that's the science. At points when it's a little further out, remember this is Wednesday for a Saturday night storm, sometimes what you're looking at is just not completed in terms of how the computer's looking at it becomes an art form, becomes really a tough science as you get closer. And we think by tomorrow at this time we'll be close enough to nail amounts of snow. 689 days since we've had one inch of snow in the city uh, per, you know, day, that is. So really, it's been a long time. And Saturday night into Sunday, that possibility exists in the city, certainly north and west. I think you're in for a good snowfall. So the cold air is beginning to move in. That's one. Friday is going to be another cold day, reinforcing shot. And now you go modeling in terms of the European. This is the latest. And you can see, again, what happens in the European is it keeps us in rain, but now it begins to move that rain into some frozen north of the city and then punctures it and tries to make a colder solution out of this. Uh, but the European is the outlier. All the other models are colder, okay? And what's happening is these models give us snow and you can see the lingering snow into Sunday in the afternoon. It's very, very light over the eastern end, still moderate. And the reason it lingers is because of the northeast wind as the storm pulls away. Now, in terms of the amount of snow, one to three inches is in the hopper right now. Uh, if we would lean on the discussion right now, uh, the city would do a two, three inch snowfall. But it's early, remember. Now three to six inches north and west and you get about 40 miles away, six to eight inches, not out of the question. There you go, 36 increasing clouds. The day to watch is Saturday late afternoon night into Sunday. Stay tuned, everybody. 6.30, 10 o'clock, we'll give you more on this improving situation for the possibility of a snowstorm.